What's up, you guys? It is hot as fuck today. I'm wearing a long sleeve fucking shirt. Hopefully, it can kind of keep me a little cooler. You know, it's uh, it's like light colors. It's reflective, and I thought I'd bring you a different perspective this time. It's been a while since I've done a uh, a front facing view. However, this one is going to be a on the fly or on the ride, if you will. SS 1100 cruise missile helmet review. That's right, this bad boy. I don't know if you heard that or not, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So sit tight, enjoy the ride. Somebody made a comment on one of my videos within the last few days asking if I was going to be doing a review <clears throat> on this helmet because apparently he, he's looking into getting one himself, which is awesome, dude. So good luck to you. He said he was buying soon. And I guess I guess we'll find out if he, uh, if he makes this decision. So first off, I would like to say that I love the fit of this helmet. I haven't tried on many other helmets. The only other one that I've had is my Icon Alliance SSR Tyranny. The, the, I'll put a picture up of it. And that fits really, really snug. Seems like the Icon helmets fit really, really snug, which isn't a problem. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I feel like when I'm trying to talk, you know, either make a vlog or if I were like talking to somebody else, my cheeks are like, you know, I got squishy face going on. Get ahead of this guy. So this right now is doing 70 miles an hour. And there's there's a good amount of airflow coming in. Mostly it's coming up from, from under here under my chin now it feels good obviously when it's hot it feels great you know you stay nice and cool and everything and you know there's there's really nothing wrong with that at all however when you get into a dusty area say you're going through like a construction zone or something like that you know somebody next to you or even even a truck you got you have a semi trailer uh, right in front of you or right next to you and you're feeling all the all the the wind the wind splash I don't know I don't know what you call it from the truck and the, those all 18 of those wheels are kicking up that dirt and that dust and it's spitting in your face unfortunately it finds its way it finds its way up through here which is really really unfortunate and I find myself a lot like having to blink you know I'm trying to like strain my eyes to make sure I can see but that doesn't happen all the time so it's it's really not that big of a deal plus as long as you keep the visor down you'll be good oh okay back to the back to the fitment i'm sorry i i, uh, I skipped a section there the fitment it fits this thing fits great it's it's not loose but it, it's a lot more forgiving on the cheeks my my face has room to move inside of the helmet my cheeks you know i can talk without feeling like you know i'm, I'm i got i got pucker face or something like that it's very very easy to take apart it's just just like just about any other helmet you know a couple snaps on the on the inside and you get the cheek pads out and then you can get the you fucking look at me fuck you dude and you got the cheek pads on the inside then you got the the headliner up there and you just pop that out it's super easy to take care of everything's washable oh red light my tires are probably about to pop my back tire it has oh, I'm sorry if the sun's in your eyes guys that's pretty it's pretty brutal isn't it that's right at the right spot huh you guys are probably getting that full force yeah shit I didn't really think about that <laughs> oh green light Walker. 
course, I'm just paying attention to you guys. Whatever. What? I can't hear you. Huh? I fucking speak in Spanish. Mighty Max? Yeah. Fucking faggot. Man, I don't know what the fuck happened. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Damn, dude. I'm just trying to enjoy my ride, make a nice little video. Oh, man. Whew. I didn't know what the fuck he was trying to say. Holy shit. Alright, you guys, I gotta take a break. I will come back to you. I gotta cool down. Plus, I gotta go check out something. I'll be back. So... Had I not been making this video and have the camera up here talking to you guys, pointing at you, you know, whatever, whatever I was doing, and I'd been paying attention to the light, I would not have missed the light turning green, and I would not have had an exchange of words with that fuck face. I just, I, I still don't, I, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I just know he passed me. I took off. And then he decided to come up next to me and say something. I don't know, some fucking Spanish shit that he was saying to me. And I asked him what, like three fucking times, because I couldn't fucking understand him. And then he drives off. Anyway, that frazzled me to all hell. <laughs> I need to get back on topic. I was about the helmet. So about this particular helmet, I really enjoy this thing. I like this thing a lot better than the Icon Alliance that I had. It's just, it feels so much better. It's lighter. It is so much lighter than that. I don't know, I don't know the weights. I'll look them up and I'll pop up on the screen right here for you. Um, Plus, this has the internal visor. You got the clear visor right there. And then the internal shaded visor, which is great. So then that way, at nighttime, you know, you don't have to strain your eyes really hard trying to see at night, you know, with your with your tinted visor down, whatever. And you can just have your, your clear visor down. I guess most helmets are going to that now. It's just Icon. They cost so fucking much money that they just want to limit you and don't want you to be able to ride at night I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it is that also brings me to the cost this thing for the price and the quality I believe it is perfect I, th I paid about 180 bucks for it and it was just it was great I mean you know I got this awesome helmet and I paid not a whole lot for it compared to an icon which you pay at least 200 bucks doesn't doesn't matter which which uh which one you get and by the way i'm comparing everything to icon because that's the only other helmet that i've ever worn plus i think i think the design of this is pretty cool i was bouncing around between a couple of different uh speed and strength helmets trying to figure out which design i like better and for the price and the the, uh, the graphics, I should say, not really the, the design, but the, the graphics on the helmet, I thought it was pretty cool. I like it. So with that, it, it's, a, it's, it's a glossy finish. You know, it's a, it, there's a finish on it. It can get scratched. There were a couple times when I've had it, uh, you know, sitting on like the grass and somehow it, get, it got rolled over and it ended up rolling onto the pavement and now I have like little scuff marks like up here on the ridges that's one downside that it marks up really pretty easily like I, I mentioned one of the other downsides earlier is that, that dirt and stuff can get up through here under the chin uh, guard thing and while you have the clear visor up and you have this down the air can still get up in here and for me my eyes are, are pretty sensitive I got little bitch eyes and they are very susceptible to getting shit in them. So again, if you're riding behind even, even just a regular car, 
there's still a really good chance that you're you're gonna, you're gonna get dust and rocks and stuff up inside your helmet. That's kind of something that you got to deal with with just about every helmet. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry it took me so fucking long to one get this video out of the helmet review and two just get another video out video out because it's been over a week i know that at the very least it's probably been about two weeks if not more since my last video so again i do apologize i really do it's just been a lot of stuff going on i've been dealing with work and this and that bullshit so i hope you guys enjoying your summer it's almost over for us northerners and I will catch you guys later. Peace.